Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I was recently in New York City for a day specifically because I made a reservation at the new Blue Box Cafe at Tiffany's. And of course, while I was in the city, I had to do a little bit of shopping. So I filmed these clips in today's video to take you guys along with me, share my experience at the Blue Box Cafe, as well as show you guys some new and items at Tiffany's as well as Louis Vuitton too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Everything in here is in the Tiffany blue color. Look at all of these boxes on the ceiling. It's so cool. They're all just hanging there and the decor and everything. Even the chair that I'm sitting on is also in this Tiffany blue color. So here's the menu. So they have breakfast at Tiffany's of course. And then they have this tea at Tiffany's which this is probably what we're going to be getting. And then if you don't want that, they also have this a la carte menu. So the cold options and then the warm options, hot options, desserts. I also want some of these things from the seasonal menu too. So we're both going to get the tea at Tiffany's and then as for tea, we're just going to go with the Tiffany tea. Here's the spread of food. I'm most excited about the canaway right here. Um, the husband already took a scone to eat because he's hungry. Here is the tea. He actually ended up getting a different tea from me. What tea did you get? Uh, it's called like, it's a Japanese tea. It's like Ryushi Gemacha. Gem I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Look at this, we didn't even finish the first tier yet and he decides that he has to have the scrambled egg with caviar so we ordered one little portion of it for him. This is part of the breakfast at Tiffany's menu. So do you think the $30 egg with caviar was worth it? I think it was worth it. <laughs> I disagree with that statement. So, so far we finished the scones and then the bottom level of this. Um, not all of them were great, honestly. There was one that had ham and cheese inside uh, that we both did not like. That was actually corned beef. That was corned beef? I thought that was ham. Hmm. Okay, um, and what was your favorite? Um, probably the the one that has the egg salad. Mm. So anything with egg is your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> I like that one too. They have this display of some breakfast at Tiffany stuff. So I didn't know that it was based off of a book. So here is some stuff with the book. And then over there is actually the dress, which is it's a little bit hard because it's behind this case right here. Um, this is not the actual dress she wore, it's a recreation of it. I hope you can kind of see what it looks like. And then here is the back of it. And then they even have the movie playing on the screen right here. While I show you guys some of the displays at Tiffany's, let me do a quick review of the Blue Box Cafe. And honestly, I just don't think it's worth it if you're going for the food. Me and my husband both got the tea at Tiffany's, which is like $100 per person. And yes, when the food came, it was really nicely displayed and it's perfect for photos but the food just didn't taste that great and it was overpriced for what you get. I probably only liked about three or maybe four items out of that entire list. And my husband also ended up getting um, their scrambled eggs with caviar in the eggshell and he liked it, but we also both agreed that the caviar didn't taste the greatest. Like we definitely had much better. 
um, and really it's just scrambled eggs and you don't even get much of the scrambled eggs and that whole thing costs like $30. If you do end up going, I would suggest ordering from their a la carte menu instead. That's something that we wish that we did. Maybe order like one of the tea at Tiffany's just to kind of get that experience but then order something from the a la carte menu for a little bit more variety now if you're going for the experience of dining at tiffany's then that's kind of a different story because it does look really pretty in there and everything is completely in the tiffany blue color so that is kind of special but i don't know like the experience only takes you so far and personally for me the food is really what matters at least for me personally it's a place that i would go to just a single time i wouldn't return there there's definitely much better places to eat in new york city for the same price and of course for cheaper too And now for the pieces that I tried on at Tiffany's, which were mainly rings. So the first ones are from their knot collection, which they recently expanded to include white gold. So I tried on both their double row knot rings as well as the thinner kind of like single row ones, I guess. And it's funny because when you have the two of them side by side, then the thinner ones just kind of disappear. But when I just have the thinner ones on by themselves, then they do look much more proportional to the size of my hand and my fingers and the next ones are from their lock collection which once again also has a thicker version and a thinner version and this definitely if you're interested in it go for the thinner version unless your fingers are like oval shaped which i feel like most people's aren't so if you're familiar with the lock bracelet and how the shape of the bracelet looks then it's more of like an oval type of shape and while that works for your wrist i don't think it really works for a ring in that thicker form of the ring because it just squished against my bone and honestly it was very painful and at the same time there was like gaps on the side of the ring the shape just did not fit my hand whatsoever but the thinner one did fit very comfortably i got my husband to try on the lock ring just for fun and we ended up really liking it i actually think this would be a great alternative to like traditional wedding bands for example or if you're looking for couple rings this could be a great option we're actually considering a set for ourselves and then lastly for something kind of edgy and interesting i did try on the double finger ring which i actually really liked Moving on to Louis Vuitton, and I've been really obsessed with their Capucines bag recently, probably since I want to say around February of this year even. So I tried on a bunch during this visit. There's the ostrich ones, and then there's the ones with the lizard handles and the thicker strap, and then there's this really gorgeous bright pink one with the very funky handle that was part of their summer collection. And then the one that I probably like the most is this off-white cream color, but what makes it unique is that the LV logo at the front, it's kind of like this sort of watercolor um, gradient between a light blue to a light pink. It's really stunning and it's part of their collection to celebrate Chinese Valentine's Day. And then I tried on one of their newest bags, which is the hide and seek bag. And I love that this comes with a leather shoulder strap. I am so sick of those canvas ones. And I like the contrast between the epi leather as well as the smooth leather on the edges of the bag. And I also like how it has that 
S-lock closure design, but it's not this big chunky gold metal. And then to end this vlog, I also tried on some other pieces from that same Chinese Valentine's Day collection, and they're all really pretty. And I especially like how the twist has a bigger logo, so it has more of that blue and pink contrast to it. So this is it for the vlog, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you didn't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!